tell you. Hi guys, it's me, Boog. Hey, Dad. From Boog and Dad TV, and today we have Queen Abadala's ship. Right, the Naboo Starfighter, or Starship. Uh, well, it's called one of the two. But either way, this is from episode one, way back in what did you say, Boog? Nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. Um. So yeah, looking at about a twenty. Uh, my math right? Yeah, about a 21-year-old ship here. Um, ours is about 90% complete, I would say. So we, it's not 100%, but um, uh, we, we did not buy this uh, new. We ended up picking up off on of eBay. I think about 98% complete. Yeah, it's missing a few little things, but nothing major. It has it has uh, most of the, you know, the, the necessities. Um but yeah, we got it off of eBay, I think, for a couple of oh, weeks ago, um, as we're trying to kind of build up our, you know, I guess our prequel era stuff is the best way to say it, is what we've been trying to do. Um, in my opinion, this is when uh, Hasbro really jumped another gear as far as vehicles go. Um, a lot of the stuff they did, like I said, obviously with this one, in the, I think this being the first, really, in the late 90s uh, through, you know, 2010 or so, it was probably the heyday uh, when they were building uh, it seems like just the best vehicles um, with the, the biggest features, the, the biggest size. You know, they just really did a awesome job during that, you know, 10-year period uh, with the vehicles. And, and most of them are just really, really cool. Um, so me and Boog have been trying to buy up as many as we can, um, you know, mostly off of eBay. And some we already had. But, uh, you know, to get them before the prices get too, too crazy because they are starting to definitely get up there. Um, so anyway, without further ado, let's get started on this uh, Naboo Starship, Queen Amidala's, you know, ride. Um, and it is a really, really cool vehicle and, uh, and actually a very large vehicle too. And we'll try to get Boo to, um, grab the tape measure just so we can give you an idea of, uh, the size of this thing. Cause it is, it is massive. Now while he's doing that, I'll go ahead and start the review here with... Um, we want to start in the Queen's Quarters, uh, which is kind of midship, uh, and it's under this little uh, hatch here. And if you look in there, uh-oh, looks like Queen is taking a spill. Get her back on the throne. This here is the ramp. Um, of course, when you have it like we just had it then, that's in flight mode. Of course, this is comes out like this for landing mode. All Queens have to have a nice ramp. And, of course, if you look in here, this is the Queen's Quarters. And there she is. Uh, she's sitting on her throne. And the throne is actually removable. Just a little plastic throne that goes here. And she's got access to probably, uh, I guess, all the important stuff she needs to be able to keep track of as the Queen. Um, there on this kind of computer board. And you'll notice throughout the review on this ship that... Uh, it had it came with a ton of stickers and as stickers do um, it's looking really really poor uh, the stickers mind you uh, just because stickers just don't age well <clears throat> like I said these are 20 year old stickers so that's kind of what happens um, I generally don't back put my oh boots back with the tape measure awesome I generally don't put stickers on my stuff because this is what will happen eventually but uh, obviously like I said we didn't buy this new so um, somebody applied them and that's kind of what we're in now but overall like i said this is still a great ship um all the electronics work on it and uh most of the uh outer pieces are all all here i'll get to what we're missing there here in just a little bit all right so that's the queen's quarters i just went over that boog do you want to uh open up well open up the rear of the ship here because this is actually a uh let's move around here to get a better shot this is actually considered a play set uh, it is a ship, but it's also a playset. So you can see we open up the rear hatch here, and down below we can see the the pilot's uh, station. Your two pilots sit here, and there's their controls. A little bit of computer stuff back here. And you also get two, I don't know if these are backup pilots or what, but it's, it's four four chairs for your flight crew. And they, uh, they do move, they do articulate. Yeah, and what's really fun about this ship is they thought of um, all the different, you know, play uh, play angles that, that kids or adults might even come up with. So you actually have uh, this droid uh, holder here, which is similar to the one that's seen in episode one uh, when they, um, when you know, when the, when the ship takes damage on takeoff. And R2 and a few other droids are in these. 
and of course they run off to make the rescue repair on the uh, on the outside of the ship. <clears throat> Sorry, and then um, of course that's where uh, R two really makes his first like uh, heroic move that we can see on camera. Uh, the other ships get blasted off the the top of the ship, well, but they, he well the other not the other ships the other droids yeah the other droids yeah they get blasted off while trying to make the repair and of course r2 he hangs in there and gets the job done and then i think he gets like a he gets like a, a an award or or, or an you know a acknowledgement from the queen uh for doing the job and saving the day which is really cool but this is only the level one of this right so this actually slides out so that you kind of have your you know when you go into play mode uh so that you kind of have your your uh and this droid is included pilot because... section here yeah i put him in there boogs they can i see what i was talking about this droid is comes with the ship and he kind of there's he is his little harness i believe this is the guy uh who first runs out to make the repair and unfortunately gets blasted away <laughs> um as he's trying to make the repair. But still, a very cool little droid. And like I said, that comes with it. He does have a name. I just, I'm, I'm not sure what it is right now. <laughs> it escapes me. Um, so back here on this side of the ship, you have, of course, a nice area for, you know, figures. A uh, good little section for play. And then back here we have the hyperdrive. Now, what's cool about this hyperdrive, like I said, Hasbro really thought of everything. They were really imaginative on this ship. Uh, when This is removable. Oops. But when it's in this way... You well, can press first, the button. Well, first, let's start with the buttons. Okay, Boo's just going to go through a few sound effects right quick for us. So we got a little droid sound on one button there. Okay. Kind of some laser cannon fire. Very nice. That's the sound of the hyperdrive. Now that is the hyperdrive. Now if you well, press it one more time, Big. Try the last button. That's the hyperdrive. So you can hear hear that sound there. That's the functioning hyperdrive. Now if we pull this out. Let's at least get a little. We can. Let's get a little bit of story into this. Right, we can pretend like. Um, um, Padme. Um, like. Let me grab some. We can pretend like we're in episode back in episode one. Wait, uh, we we're can, taking off. We can pretend that the that the the storm troopers have taken over the ship. Oh no! All right, so the so, hyperdrive has been damaged. So, so, so Padme ha uh, has a gun, and now she's going to shoot the hyperdrive. Oh no! So now the hyperdrive is damaged. So now Boo's going to press the same button on the rear, and you can now hear that the hyperdrive is toast. We're not going anywhere. Oh no, Boo! Can you send the droid in for the repair? All right, so the droid is up on top, making the repair. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh no. And then if you press this little button here, while he's up top here making the repair, I believe it's this one. Hang in there, little droid, get that repair done. We need the hyperdrive fixed. Um, well, maybe, is it a different button, Boog? Sorry, guys. Oh, maybe it's this one. Probably should have practiced this first. Oh, here's one. I think, oh, it's this one. So, yeah, so he's here. So, here we go. So, he's here attempting to do his repair, right? And then, wait, let's at least get, I think I'll grab. And then. Oh, that was it. So yeah, pressing there. So he's here doing his repair. And then you press this button. And just like in the movie, he gets ejected off. Ah! And then R2 comes in to save the day. So I've got my, um, as my, um. Which that is just a really, really neat feature that they thought of that. Uh, just like the scene from the movie. So now we can, like, um, let's pretend that this walker is, um, 
is attacking the ship, and the little Joy's trying to to protect the ship. Right, he's down there doing his repair the best he can, but unfortunately, oh no, he is off. down. Do we have R two? We need R two to come save the day. Okay, I'll find him. So yeah, this is kind of yeah, it's, it's a big deal in the movie because this is R 2s really first time that he, you know, uh, saves the day and really gets on the radar of um, you know everybody as far as being a really useful uh, droid. I, I honestly think he's somehow force power because everybody who follows the movies knows how important R two ends up being um, through all the films. Really, so... here he comes. Now remember, R2 doesn't get blasted off. Yeah, so he's gone. He's just leaving now. Right. So R2's up there. And then we'll go back around to this side. He's doing his repairs. Oh, no. I think he's got it. That little droid has done it. All right, boo. Flip the hyperdrive back around. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, in the movie, he would have stayed. Well, in the movie, he wouldn't, he wouldn't stay. He wouldn't have come back in. Actually. Right. Okay, so he is back. Mm -hmm. Alright, he's back in. Alright, press the button, boo. Button. Alright, for the repaired hyperdrive. Okay. Alright, let's see if that hyperdrive is fixed. R2 has done it. Now what's also really cool is that after he finishes his amazing repair, uh, you can drive him back up to here. And if you press this down, then he can use this to come right back into the ship, which is amazing. Just like in the film. Um, like I said, they just really thought of everything. Just super cool. Or you could use it as a little escape pod down here. Yeah, raise it back up. So like I said, if you want to pretend like he's he's coming up, to the top of the ship. There he comes. Now he's ready to go make make his repair. Again. But also, like if he's inside the ship and he just wants to exit, you could put him in this notch down below. There. And then you can and press it down. This is kind of bad, but it works. And then of course he comes out down here if he needs to do some work. Oh, there's the R2 we were looking for. He's been hiding. <laughs> were you down there doing repairs the whole time? <laughs> I think he was. So, yeah, that's pretty much the back end of, of the ship. Like I said, just lots and lots of fun play features. I'll give you a shot back here of the buttons that Boog was pressing. Um, you've got the four right here that do the different sound effects. Um, and then several other buttons along here that activate these little triggers. Now, what we're missing, um, can we push it back in so I can show them the part we're missing? Push it back in? Yeah. Slide, slide this back in just for a second. Oh wait, let's move the queen. Got to make sure everything is out of the way when you slide it back in. There it comes. Oh, it might cause damage. Yeah, you don't want to cause damage just in this old. So anyhow, this is the part we're missing. Now this hatch flips up. And that's of course how R2 and the other droids would come out to do the repair. Uh, this section here, it's actually two pieces. Um, and of course it's made so that when you press the button, these pieces come up and they knock the pieces off so you can recreate this damage here. And this is what Archie's trying to repair. And then of course, uh, these buttons pop up and that's what triggers uh, the, uh, the noises when the first droid, maybe first couple of droids get blown off the ship. So like I said, this is really the main thing that ours is missing. And um, I'm kind of, you know, just searching eBay for the parts list to see if these come up for any kind of a reasonable price. But overall, um, the ship with everything else it has with the working electronics, mm -hmm. it was worth it to me, even if we never get these particular parts, because uh, it's still a lot of fun to play with. Right, dude? Yeah. I'll come down here, give you a shot of the landing gear. But, so that's the um, rear. It's got three three pieces of landing gear there, as you can see. A, which actually we had to buy the landing gear separate from the ship. Yeah. And like yes, we did. This one did not originally come with landing gear, but I was able to uh get those you know by themselves on ebay for really cheap i think i got the whole set for like twenty dollars so not bad at all like i said the missing damage pieces is what's a little hard to find but hopefully they'll turn up eventually and i can get them ordered all right so now we're down to uh, pretty much the last feature of the ship which is the front of the ship um 
This whole cone piece here uh, comes off. There's no button. You just have to use some serious force power with it. All right, as big as done. And if you can do it, you have the power of the force. Now, once it's removed, you kind of got some little fun stickers in here. Now, in the movie, I don't believe this actually ever happened. But, uh, like I said, with this ship, Hasbro thought of everything. So it opens up. But, and... Um... Uh, Boog's been playing. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to have oh, oh, wait, I think I see it there. here it's up there yeah it's uh, supposed to have the an escape pod which Boop, Boop calls the zip zoo yes this here which goes in there but also you could take it out and have fun right so like I said the escape pod is stored in here so this comes off obviously this comes off and there's your escape pod uh, this piece is kind of cool just got some well, wild this isn't the escape electronics is. no no this is the nose of the ship and of course here's underneath ours does have some battle damage <laughs> aka play damage um but yeah boog will go over the uh the escape pod here or the zip zoo as he calls it so here is the front it has like a little like um uh, little indent in the front it's pretty much yellow and silver right it has some sort of language <laughs> yep got a little uh that must be Naboo language or something there. Uh, there's um, a, a little logo and another little logo. Right. And the back where it has like its rocket boosters. Then the side pretty much the same. There's the top. Yeah, so I'm thinking, you know, if Queen ever gets in deep trouble on this ship, uh, this is her way out. Well, also, um, also you, we can open this. When you open it up, it will hold basically one figure, which I'm assuming that's for the Queen. Um, she's the VIP there. If the ship and, goes down. And then you could get, also grab a little droid. Right, it has a spot for the droid. It's a little awkward getting the droid in there. Um, but, you know, it, it, it does work. Well, not really. Yeah, they didn't quite make it where they could, where you could close. I think you have to, like, put his, put his, use this one, this one that came with it. They kind of, I think you have to kind of put his, his, uh, his feet in. Like, I think his feet go, like, in that way. It's really weird. Like in those notches. Like so there is an awkward way you can bend his legs to actually make him fit in there and get the hatch closed, but it is kind of strange. It boobs onto it there. Ah, yep, he nailed it. So close. Hi mom. Hi kids. Mom's home. She's home. But alright. I think, though, that's about it for as far as our review for the Naboo Starship. What you think, Boo? It's awesome. Yeah, and you got it closed there. So, yeah, but anyway, like I said, this is, there he is with the droid popping out, and she's ready for her escape. Oh, ah, you'll then, never catch me. Uh, you can fix the, you can turn the head and then make it a little bit more accurate. Right, you can face him to the, to the front, and he's ready to get her safely uh, back to land. But yeah, this has been been the uh, the review of the Naboo Starship. We love it. We think it's absolutely awesome. One of the better vehicles. Oh, we forgot to get you a measurement. Uh, Boo, break out the tape. Because yeah, you definitely know how big this thing is. Because um, it is, it, it really is massive. One of the bigger bigger ships they have done. No, let's put the zip zip back in. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know if you wanted to play with it some more. <laughs> the zip zip is back in. Zip zip is in. Does it click in? Mm-hmm. It should. All right, Mom, I need your help with this part. Dad's one-handed. There you go. All right. Let Mom try to shove it back in, because that takes some, some power. And then, of course, yeah, the black piece is up top. Just shoves it in. Goes in like this? Yep, just like that. Just got to press really hard. With Mom power. Yep. So Mom can get it snapped back in there. Probably the only thing I don't care for about the ship is this part here is really awkward and uh, seems like it would break at any moment. <laughs> Just a couple of springs in there. Yeah, they, they slide into and snap in. Oh, mom got it. Wow, she must have found the quick way to do it. I guess the angle is it. All right, Boog, let's get him a quick measurement. Oh, here comes mom with the measurement too. So from tip to tip, what have we got down there? About 35 and a half. 35 and a half. 35 and a half inches. So you could say this thing, and let's get one from side to side. You can see this thing is going to take up some or space wide. on yourself. 
So be prepared for that. 18. 18 inches wide. Wow. So yeah, like I said, this guy is a monster, but it's well worth it. Tons and tons of uh, fun to be had with this guy. All right, everybody. Take care. Hit the like button. And we will see you on the next one. Okay, guys. Make sure to subscribe to Big and Dad TV for some more awesome toy fun. Bye. Bye-bye.